Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of the Horizon Straight Bourbon Whiskey by Hirsch. Interesting bottle. According to the label, 750 mils, 46% alcohol by volume, 92 proof. It's a straight bourbon whiskey. Now, I find it quite interesting. Horizon Street Bourbon Whiskey, normally there's some sort of tale of some sort, uh, a legend, some verbiage that really doesn't mean much of anything other than we like it, we think you're going to like it, or we don't really care, but we hope you like it. It's all over the, the place. It's very, well, in my opinion, my experience, it's, I would say, very rare, but it's not very often you find a mash bill. And this comes with a mash bill. So this ratio, 94%, uh, four years, 11 months, and that had a 75% corn, 21 rye, 21 rye, hmm. four barley malt, and then the 6% is a six-year blend, six year, eight months, I should say, 60% corn, 36% rye, 4% malt. How interesting. So yeah, it's been a, quite a while since I've had a bourbon in which had the mash bill on it. So I stand by my earlier assume it is rare to have a mash bill. And frankly, I didn't expect this to have any rye in it at all. I had to read these labels first. Uh, apparently it has a, with the tape on top, it has a number. 20. Oops. There we go. Oops. How's that? Oh, well. Either way, it's 920. And, uh, like I said, interesting bottom. Wood top. Ah, uh, good sound. Synthetic cork. But a nice wood top with, you can see there, a bit emblazoned the logo. the critters don't knock it over and this is what we get and a glass that's a little bit warmer than the outside ambient temperature so anyways we have here a beautiful caramel with um, honey highlights in it there's a shade of red there's a light hue of red in there I can't quite focus on very well but yeah, I swear there's a bit of red. Wow, all the way over here, you can smell it. Sheesh. How funny. Way over here, about a good foot or so away from my face. It smells like uh, leather shoes. But up close and personal, It smells like a, it smells like an Irish whiskey. Well, this isn't an Irish whiskey from what I understand. Hope it's not an Irish, well, I should, shouldn't say that. I'm not expecting it to be an Irish whiskey. It was not in the Irish whiskey section of the store. There's nothing in her saying it is or not, nor is it saying anything about where it was made. Ah, there we go. Indiana Lawrenceburg, Indiana bottled by Hirsch in Bardstown, Kentucky so distilled in Indiana bottled in Kentucky alright so not Irish at least not from Ireland very light nose very very light nose like I said it, it would have fooled me and not being Irish. You get caramel, you get lemon. Hints of orange at best. No real burn on the nose. No um, uh, bitiness on the nose. 
none of that chemical ethanol -y coming through. Nothing like that. It's it's very light. Very niceness. Friendliness. It's friendliness. Give it a swirl. See what we get. It takes a while for it to tear up. And the tears are very well defined. For those of you who are new to my channel, the reason why the swirl is to get a visual of what it theoretically will be like on the palate. You get uh, residual sugars. Residual sugars make the solution thick. So when you swirl it, it's slow to get those cracks and crevices, what they call tearing or lagging. So then we go off. So it's going to be thick on a palate. It means it's a little, I want to call it syrupy, but leans in that direction. And that usually means it's going to be on the sweeter side because of the residual sugars. So at least we have a ballpark. I, yeah, it's just really slow to tear. Gives us a, a ballpark idea of what to expect. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be sweeter or light or heavy on the palate, but it's a clue. I always swear this is Irish. It's a little, a little heavy on the palate flavor wise it is multi-layered almost no burn none of that ethanol burnt tire taste in it well no no hint of burn hint of burn on the edge of the of the, of the tongue Long hang time. Long, 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 long hang time. Uh, hang time meaning the, the time it takes you to taste it from your glass. And when you finally swallow it down, the length it stays in your mouth, the, the residual flavor. It's still there. Long hang time. Uh, usually that comes with a much heavier... Uh, solution and it's um it's a mild to heavy solution it's nothing you know there's been thicker i should say that's out there but it's not it's not too bad the flavors are so light is this weird the, the initial flavor comes in with lemon and caramel and your, your basic whiskey stuff. But it, it's, it's fleeting. The base of it stays and stays and stays and stays and stays. So and it's not like, oh, this is caramel or something that stays on through. No, no. It's, you know, it's a, a distilled solution. It has those qualities to it. And that's what hangs on. So all those good flavors disappear like like a top coat of paint. Just kind of washes off, leaving you with all these undertones, the actual foundations of it, and the actual kind of like whiskey type flavors that are whiskey per the, the, the distillery process. And I know this isn't making a whole lot of sense, but it's just the initial flavors fly off, leaving you the base to stay and not leave. And it's solution wise is light on the palate, but that long hang time makes you think that it should be a thicker, heavier uh, solution than what it actually is. It's very much so contradicting itself. The flavors come across as, I would say this is a great summer sipper. 
but the fact that it hangs on for so long makes it a good good winter so one would think all right summer and winter and nice good blends in when it comes to like the fall and whatnot but not in in my mindset it's not in my current mindset that heavier whiskey whiskey flavors stay so long that you kind of long for those lighter tones that disappeared in the beginning and that disappearing in the beginning if it just if it lost the thing that was short in the beginning it would be a good summer sipper the fact that those initial flavors disappear so quick and leave you with this heavy base <sighs> I, I know I'm, I'm sounding very contradictory and I'm running out of time but okay let's let's, let's, let's just bounce out like this if it was the initial flavors were short and the hang time was short it would make it a great summer this would be a very good summer if those initial flavors stayed and the hang time stayed it would make it a great winter but the problem is it's got a short initial so you the hang time the long hang time ruins it for summer but that long hang time doesn't have those nice initial beginning flavors long enough to make it a nice winter sipper it just it, it's it's odd it, it, it is very odd not in a bad way it's just for my particular palate odd it either either you're gonna hang around with a lot of flavors or you're gonna come and go real quick with the flavors not comes in and then and then you got to drag the body out of the house. And that's what I'm getting out of this. Is it bad? No. Is it good? I am wrestling with that right now. It is it is a nice sipper. It is not a dessert. But you guys are going to have to get to get this one a try. It's, it's worth the cost of admission. But I don't know if it's good or not. You guys try it. See what you think. See if it's as contradictory to you as it is to my palate. And we'll we'll wrestle out whether this is a good purchase or not. This is the horizon. A little small lettering here. The spirit of the journey. Well, apparently had a good beginning. And it was a long journey. But there you are. By Hirsch. Any comments down below will be warmly accepted as always. Or better yet, go out, buy it, try it yourself. And let the rest of us on the YouTube Spirits community know your thoughts about The Horizon by Hirsch. And see if it's worth, uh, worth the money. Until next time, keep on drinking.